you know what time it is, it's time to get sauced up with another Super Saiyan Jutsu reaction to Hell's Paradise, episode four. Gabumaru got in last episode. He fought another, another bad guy. I don't know what you wanna call him, demons, whatever they wanna call him. He was kind of wild though. He had a ridiculous amount of swords and it didn't work. None of it worked. <laughs> he hit this dude over the head with a club while he was trying to tie his stuff back together. I was like, yo, this is out of line. Then we had the giant take out the eye patch guy. I thought the eye patch guy was gonna be here for the long haul. He got maxed the first episode. I'm like, oh, what's going on? Like, I don't know what it is. Then the island has some crazy insects got faces on it that essentially when they sting you, grow the flowers out of you. So I was like, oh, this is interesting. Then a giant popped up. Like there's a lot to digest right now. So I'm excited. Let me know how you guys' thoughts are on the previous three episodes. We're into episode four. And if you guys wanna continue with me and my journey on this anime, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And if you guys wanna catch this early and uncut, make sure you guys check out the Phantom Troop. That link is gonna be right over here. So check that out. And if you guys want the OG variant, you know, you can do the Patreon. That's still available as well. Just know things that are Anaplex or Viz Media will be exclusively over on the Phantom Troop because of the weird copyright stuff happening over there. But are you guys ready to go? Because I'm ready to go. Oh. Oh, yo, he was like, oh, you talking? Rap you. Done. All charges. Like, I'm out of this thing. Oh, whole mansion? So this is the flashback before what we saw happen last episode. Mm. Mm. He enjoying it though? Yo, you see that? He put the fear of God into this man right now. He was like, oh, that could have been my whole head. Did you see that? That was insane. What a great way of depicting that. That was sick. He was like, all right, oh, cool. <laughs> The next batch of insects, stronger, more venomous. Oh, so these aren't even the top guys? Is that what you're saying? Oh, hell no. Nah. Nope. The fish man, that's the same guy from Heavenly Delusion. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I got my Kakashi on, boy. Stay back, body time. Boy, you already know, man. You know when a sauce up happens. You know when a sauce up happens. Hmm. Oh, oh, he hit it with the gobo gobo no, okay. Oh. Woo, uh oh, I told you to stay back. Oh, he split his nose, or the top of his fish face. Oh, okay. I mean, you saw the blood activate. Yep. So it's possibly the engine. Oh. What in the attack on Titan is going on here? Uh-oh. Oh, the sauce. He's saucing. Oh. Sheesh. Oh, chill. Just juiced him. Wow. Head off, arm off. Oh no, he's a problem. Since we were hours ago, right? Yup. Stay away from the men sex. Oh my God. Yo, he not playing. Oh no. You about to get centipeded. You better sauce up. Uh oh. Uh oh. You about to get slapped? Not slinky slapped. He got the, you know, those blow, those robot, those, uh, fan, uh, flag guys. That's what that look like. Oh, I'm gone. Caught you like a gentleman. Hey, uh, hey, uh, she, she bad. <laughs> she bad as fuck, dog. <laughs> She's bad as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, now I'm so scared of dangerous place. <laughs> he like, hey, bitch, get off me, cuz. <laughs> nah. Yeah, actually, I could have shown you these titties. They locked you down. Was killed. Oh, oh, chill. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Sheesh. Ooh, boy. Hey, 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 you should let her know. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to see that anime, bro. Boy. なあ。なあ。なあ。なあ。なあ。なあ。なあ。なあ。なあ。なあ。なあ。なあ。なあ。なあ。なあ。なあ。なあ。なあ。なあ。なあ。なあ。なあ。なあ。なあ。なあ。
オさんは変化だ母さんお屋敷に帰りたいよ何が正しいのか分からない<笑>泣くな当麻弱みを見せりゃ死ぬぞ俺はいつでも正しいうん役の話をしはい。Have that foresight and see, like, okay, we just need to adapt and being aware of a, circ- a situation he's in and then seeing it now, assessing after he's killed them, like, yep, it's here. Mm. See how smart he was? See how smart he's like, well, I'm not going to I'm gonna bring back the elixir. No, I'm drinking it myself. What you mean? I'm gonna give it to somebody else and then they're gonna, I'm free? Nah, nah, nah. I'm drinking this hell. Like, he's smart. He's big brain. He's big brain. There are gonna be strong people left for sure. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. What an awesome episode. Guys, be honest with you. This week is gonna be a tough one, bro, because just watch he-、uh, Heavenly Delusion. That's fire. Hell's Paradise. This came on a whole different vibe, obviously, was way more action focused in this episode. But they're still doing a really good job at, at story and character, which is so good. Making sure that we're, you know, getting a little bit of that, that, that visual stimulation with the action side of things and the gore and all that, which is great.、Um, but also making sure that it's, that it's supported. You know what I'm saying? Like, not just for the sake of just being ridiculous. Like, Okay, we're getting some backstory on these criminals,、uh, and a lot of it is this perspective. Like, especially this last, the last two brothers, that's an interesting situation, you know what I'm saying? Where it's like they got put into a scenario as kids to where they, they fend for themselves, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, that's just the r u g that happened to survive for them, right? So it wasn't like they, they sought out to be evil, it was like, Bro, like we were just we were trying to survive, and then things kept landing in our, you know, falling in our way, or people trying to take advantage of us. And I was smart enough to say, okay, how do I navigate this? How do I, you know, not necessarily weasel, but how do I, you know, finesse this new scenario, you know, and keep it pushing? That's that's a one, that's a bar. That whole his whole, their whole story is a bar. But again, like this is the type of stuff that is exciting because you're, you're building. You're building characters up right now. So then when we start losing people, it's not just focused around the main character, right? It's not just focused around Gabi m a r u and his story. It's like, oh, we have a, we have a gang of people here where we kind of know their backstories, their motivations, what they're focused on. And there may be more than one person that we, that we line with, you know what I'm saying? Because essentially everybody has their reasoning for trying to get free, so to speak. But they're the first people that we heard of, like, no, w e drinking this ourselves. Like, what you mean? I'm gonna give this to somebody else? Nah, if I can live forever, then what you, what you gonna do? What you doing? You know what I mean? I think that's fire. I thought it was an awesome concept. Let me know your guys' thoughts on this episode in the comments down below, especially if you're a manga reader. How is the adaptation for you as well? I would love to know those thoughts, minus the spoilers. I appreciate it. And if you're like myself, a non manga reader, how did you feel about this episode? Was this the best of? The show so far. I would love to know your guys' thoughts. And if you guys want to join me on my journey with this anime, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, man. Join me on my journey with Hell's Paradise.、I'm、loving it so far, and hopefully we can love it together. And if you guys want to catch this uncut, unedited, and or future reactions live, make sure you guys check out the Phantom Troop, man. Link up here, up in the card section right here, up here. Don't miss that. There is over on Patreon as well for the reaction side of things, the uncut stuff. Pick your poison, whatever one you want to go with. Check that out. But other than that, man, I will catch you guys in the next one.